name controversy. And um, so is society too sensitive or inconsiderate? As society evolves, so should our language. There are terms casually used by those around us that are meant to people we see each day. So I compared this to um, how society has certain terms that used to be completely accepted and okay, and now there are words that groups prefer to be used rather than that or just don't want you to say those other words at all, such as like the R word, and um, there's that's like a popular movement to end uh using the word retarded for mentally disabled people. And so in the past that was accepted and it wasn't necessarily as offensive as it is today. And so I was like in the point, what is different about Redskins when it's offending the Native American people of today? And then like Luke, I have a little comparison to other races. Like we would never think about having names like that, but then Cleveland Indian seems perfectly okay. So the Washington Redskins, um, the owner Bill Snyder actually has a foundation that supports Native American tribes across the U.S. And um, within the tribes, there have been polls taken and they've gone and talked to them and they're like, okay, so since you are accepting this help, do you all like approve of the name? And that wasn't necessarily the case. But whenever um, some people were so adamant about the point that they disapprove of the name Redskins that they wouldn't even like receive the help. But Chief Quitaki, a chief of one of the Native American tribes, when questioned those who uh, refused the help, he said, what plans do you have? Instead of criticizing, give us a plan. Because a lot of Native American tribes really do need the help that Bill Snyder was giving them. But um, some make it clear that they don't approve of the name, and they also point out that um, there are many greater issues facing the tribes, and that an NFL mascot isn't necessarily their number one concern. So um, something that the Redskins say is that they can't afford to change the name, that if Washington were to change the mascot and team name from Redskins to something else, the team would suffer financially. But after looking closer, this is simply a scapegoat. The team wouldn't actually experience great financial loss. A study done by Emory University showed that schools experience a very short, um, a very short or one to two year negative financial impact and then quickly recover. And in the long term can even improve the financial gains of the team. And um, the foundation that they helped was they contributed 3.7 million during its first year which provided help but they still didn't accept it but um, a struggling team like the Redskins could actually kind of gain from this because they aren't exactly the best team in the NFL and if they were to get a new mascot, then they would have to make all new like merchandise and the fans would want to jump on board and support like, oh, they're evolving. They don't want to continue to offend all of these people. And now they have these new jerseys because like when teams do the throwback jerseys, fans go and buy the new throwback jersey because they think it's really cool. Well, if a team wants to completely change and get a whole new mascot, they would want to go buy the new jerseys, which would contribute a lot of financial gain to the team, actually, rather than them losing money, like what they claim will happen. So an attempt to justify the name is through an old coach's claim to Native American ancestry. So back when the team was first coming about, one of the coaches, I think the head coach, claimed Native American ancestry. So it's not totally like traced back and backed up, but um, he said that he was Native American. So then the owner decided that it would be cool to make that their mascot. And so I feel like they kind of try to use that as justification for the team name. They are like, oh, well, one of our founders was Native American and we're doing it for him and honoring him. But if he were still around today, would he actually think it was honoring him or would he be offended like many of the other Native Americans that are around today? So besides, we're not totally sure of the validity of that claim. So, but if you give them the benefit of the doubt, I feel like 
the team wasn't creating the Native American mascot to offend people because they wouldn't really get away with it because I don't think that was their original intent. But um, more than a mascot, the Redskins' intentions are to honor Native American heritage, but they don't portray these people in a respectful way. And so on here I have the St. John's mascot used to actually be the Redmen. And um, those who stand up for the Redskins' name believe they are honoring the Native American people and their history, but Native Americans don't usually see these acts as honorable. And then a personal example of this, a son of a legendary coach at St. John's University uh, was sitting at a restaurant with his dad, and um, his dad used to be called the Big Indian because he was the coach, and I guess they thought that was cute with the mascot and everything. But um, they were sitting at a restaurant, and an uh, older gentleman came up and was like a big fan of St. John's basketball and knew who his dad was and was saying how great of a coach was. But then the conversation turned into, you being such a great coach, it's embarrassing that you use you go by the name Big Indian because of how offensive that is. And the two men just kind of stood there, and they were, hadn't ever really thought about how it could be offensive to some people because they had just grown up St. John's fans, and they didn't know any different. But um, the man, the Native American man that was talking to him, he compared the Big Indians team mascot to names like the New Jersey Jews or the Buffalo Blacks. And the two men standing there realized how offensive those names would be and then went to realize how offensive their own mascot name was. So... Um, in the beginning, the word mascot, it came from France, and it was used to describe anything that brought luck. And so having a red skin, having redskins as the mascot, they just wanted it to be something that they could stand behind and bring luck to their team and cheer their team on like any other mascot, but they don't see it as um, how Native Americans see it. So the evolution of a society, these mascots are intended to portray Native Americans, but today Native Americans are like you and me. They're successful doctors, lawyers, accountants, and today Native Americans want to be seen as successful businessmen and lawyers, and just like all of us. So this is um, a famous actor, which he plays Native Americans in films, and he is um, of Cherokee descent, and he's from No Fire Hollow of the Cherokee Nation in Oklahoma. And um, there, Susan Herho, a member of the Morning Star Institute, which is a Native, which is a Native American rights group in Oklahoma. She said that depicting us as characters is toxic for Native American people because then people think it's okay for us to have substantial standard health care and housing because the mascots make them think we're not quite human, and so they just see them as mascots and not the important people of society that they are, like actors and lawyers and successful people. So in summary, um, Macarena Hernandez, a humanities professor at the University of Houston, Victoria, stated that she hopes the general public doesn't dismiss this as the PC police gone mad. She wants people to realize the offensive nature of the term. So like the first slide, how it said, Redskins, a team name or a racial slur. It seems kind of, uh, whenever I first started doing this paper, I was like, well, I think Redskins is an okay mascot. It's just a mascot. But I'm going to write it this way because I think I'll find more information. But as I found all of these quotes from Native Americans and all of these points of showing the offensiveness of the term, I kind of started to change my mind. And so um, now I kind of see how they feel like they're not people when they're mascots because it's like people, all the other mascots are animals and they're not animals, they're people just like us. And so I can see how that can be offensive. And um, a lot of people that are for the mascot being staying the same, they say that people don't care that, oh, the people that are making this such a big problem aren't even Native American. They aren't even, they shouldn't even be offended by this. But um, it's more of a, some, a lot of Native Americans don't even know about the problem because they are within their own tribes and uh, little villages and like with 
in Oklahoma on the reserves and everything, and they don't necessarily know about the problem. But like when Florida State went to the national championship, it was really televised and a really big deal and how they're doing like the tomahawk chop and all the things that they do. And then a lot of Native Americans hadn't ever realized how prevalent of a problem it is. And after that, they did. They began to realize just how many people take part in this. And um, I think that Native Americans should be encouraged to embrace their heritage in a positive way that they're comfortable with. And so we, as people that aren't necessarily even close to Native American relation, shouldn't get to decide what offends them and what doesn't. They should be able to decide what offends them because they are actually of Native American descent, so, yeah. Um, I think the situation just shows that society doesn't take into consideration the words and actions that they use. And so I was just showing that, like, at one time, um, it wasn't considered offensive to have slaves. Like, everyone had slaves, and then society grew and moved on from that. And then women weren't um, as equal as men, and so they couldn't vote, and society grew and moved on from that. And so I just feel like um, if we're still taking part in something that offends a group of people like Native Americans, that we should grow and move on from that and not continue to use it. That's why we're excited.